Hello friends, welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll be talking about the capture effect. So first of all, we should know what does this word capture means. So this word capture means to grab something. Okay, so now you must be guessing where it is used. It is used in the case of reception of the signals. Then only we are grabbing the signal from the environment. Okay, so now it is used in the FM reception. So now what does this capture effect do in the reception? So if we have two signals falling on the receiver, let's suppose we have 98.3 and 98.5 signals falling on the receiver. So which signal it will demodulate? It will demodulate only the signal which has higher strength. So other signal will be completely attenuated with the help of the capture effect. So if we have two signals with very close frequencies, so 98.3 and 98.5 signals are very close in the frequency. So now with the help of capture effect, we can easily extract the higher strength signal. So we can easily extract the desired signal if it is interfered by the noise because noise is generally having lower strength than the desired signal. So now what happens when the two signals are having equal strength? That time the demodulator will fluctuate between the two signals depending upon the fading of the signal. So if one signal is fading out, it will completely fluctuate on the other signal and when this signal will fluctuate, it will completely fluctuate on the first signal back. So this is also called picket fencing. So why it is called picket fencing? Because we are providing a boundary. The boundary is of fading. So whenever we are fading, it will fluctuate. So now there are some drawbacks related to this phenomena. What are the drawbacks? If I have a noise interference which has higher strength than the signal, then what would happen? The noise interference would be detected and the signal will be completely suppressed or completely attenuated. So this is undesirable. After that, if somehow the noise signal strength is equal to the message signal strength, then also it will fluctuate between the noise and the message signal depending upon the strength. So here I'll be concluding my session. I hope you understood this term capture effect related to the FM demodulation. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and push the like button. Thank you.